so this is the experimental kit for energy band gap in semiconductor diode so this is the apparatus so we have to calculate the energy band gap of a semiconductor so as we know semiconductor is a device which uh, whose conductivity lies between the conductor and insulator so here we are using pn junction diode which is nothing but a semiconductor diode so we have to make the connections according to the circuit diagram but here in this apparatus already the connections has been made so here is the circuit diagram pn junction diode so the negative terminal must be connected to the one end of the ammeter negative terminal and positive terminal must be connected to the negative terminal of the voltmeter and there is a common connection between the voltmeter and ammeter so voltmeter must be connected to the power supply so pn junction diode uh, we have to make uh, here the connection uh, to the o1 and we have to connect it, uh, we have to use the thermometer to measure the temperature when we heat the diode uh, its temperature is going to rise so we can measure with the help of thermometer so similarly we can see the connections on this apparatus uh, so diode has been connected across uh, this heater or the o1 so here is the one supply nothing but we can keep it at low or high to heat uh, the o1 so this is the thermometer to measure the temperature rise in temperature or uh, decrease in temperature so this is voltmeter which is connected uh, across uh, one end of this diode and this is the emitter so already every connection has been made uh, we have to switch on the device here so first switch on the device and switch on o1 so that uh, heat must be supplied to the heater uh, across the diode uh, we should note down the temperature here with the help of thermometer uh, initially we have to wait uh, to heat up the diode or uh, whatever we are using the oven so we must keep it at high so that uh, the temperature must rise quickly so right now we can see here the temperature is how much around 35 degrees celsius so we have to tell uh, we have to wait until it uh, reaches to 80 72 80 degree uh, before that we have to stop heating up to 65 degree and then we can switch off for the oven and then we can uh, start taking reading for that we have to note down the reverse current uh, in the ammeter we have to keep the voltage at fixed value so you can see the temperature is rising let us wait uh, it should reach uh, to 65 degree after that we have to switch on the oven so we can see here the temperature is rising it has reached to 50 degree celsius so up to 65 degree the temperature has to increase and after that we have to switch on the oven Yes. so it has reached to more than 65 degree celsius so i am going to switch on switch off the oven then we should keep the voltage uh, at particular value so here we should uh, specially focusing on the ammeter reading current so let us keep it at 40 micro ampere okay then uh, we have to wait uh, till the thermometer reaches uh, up to 70 to 80 degree celsius once it becomes stable we have to note down the temperature every 5 degree celsius decrease of temperature we should note down the current 
reading in the ammeter so here the temperature uh, as the temperature increases we have to note down the ammeter reading so right now the temperature is uh, around uh, 70 degree celsius near to that the ammeter reading you can see it is 20 micro ampere so like that you should note down the reading uh, of temperature and current the temperature is around 65 so here you have to take minimum 10 readings so 80 degree celsius to 35 degree celsius each time you have to uh, note down the decrease of 5 degree celsius temperature so you have to convert this temperature into kelvin and uh, take the ratio of 1 by t so you will get the value of all these temperatures 1 over t that is 10 to the power 3 divided by t per kelvin so next column you have to note down the corresponding reverse current for all these temperatures so current is going to decrease as the temperature decreases here so next what you have to do you have to take the log of Uh, line of uh, reverse current okay so this is all about the tabular column so here you have to plot the graph of temperature versus line of uh, reverse current so once you plot the graph you have to take the slope then uh, once you take the slope you you can calculate the energy gap so here uh, this uh, got the slope of about 2 so you have to use that uh, slope to calculate energy gap so here is the formula to calculate uh, energy gap before that uh, we should know this formula for small range of temperature uh, variation with respect to reverse current so log is is equal to constant minus 5.036 delta e into 10 to the power 3 by t t is absolute temperature in kelvin delta e is the energy gap in uh, ele- electron volt and then is is what such reverse current so slope that we got from the graph we have to use it to calculate the energy gap that is given by slope by 5.036 this is the formula to calculate energy gap uh, so if you calculate you will get 0.3 electron volt since uh, we consider natural log of e uh, and e g what the energy gap of the semiconductor that is given by energy gap is equal to 2.303 into 0.3 electron volt that is equal to uh, the energy gap of the given semiconductor is 0.69 electron volt so this is for germanium actually germanium has 0.7 electron volt so near to that 69 electron volt